everyone. Mommy Shelly is here and so is Stella the Pony. Okay, so today we're going to do some fun science activity at home. <laughs> and we are going to explore about air pressure. So before we start, it is very important to always take note that when you're doing something like this, safety is a big thing. So when we talk about safety, we talk about putting your lab gown, putting your your goggles. <laughs> this would protect you from in case something will go wrong in your activity. Like you're, you're safe. Your eyes is protected. Okay? And if you're doing heating or anything like that, ponytail is a must. Okay? We don't want fire get into your I hair. got two ponytails. <laughs> <laughs> so, let us start. Um, what are the materials we have this? Um, we're not in the lab, we're at home, so I found something that looks like a um, Erlenmeyer flask, right? So this is the closest I could find. And also, that would actually um, not, this one doesn't fit, no matter how I push, right? The egg one wouldn't go down. But that's the, the thing here is, we are going to explore air pressure by, by looking at this activity. Okay, so uh, what is air pressure? Air pressure is basically, do you know what air pressure is, Bella? No. No, so let's learn about air pressure. Air pressure is actually the the weight of air pushing on Earth, okay? So actually, literally, there's air pressure pushing on us. Above us is a sea Above of us. air. Sea of air sea pushing of on air. us. We just don't feel it, right? Because yeah. our, our, our body is used to it. We only feel it um, if there's a sudden change in pressure, like, <gasps> for example, um, when you are riding, going uphill. So when you're going uphill, there's less and less, the, the, the air molecule gets thinner and thinner. Okay, so when, when there's less um, air molecules, then there's less pressure. So because of that sudden change, our inner ear can actually detect that one. And so we could feel our uh, um, ear pop, right? And so with, when, you are, when you are riding or when you're inside the airplane, because you're going higher altitude, going up higher and higher, then there's less and less um, air molecules, so there's less pressure. Ah, so then our ear can detect us. And when you have been to an airplane, you actually can can uh, hear or can feel your ear popped. Okay, so let's start. So here we have our bottle, and we are going to try to put the egg in but as you can see no matter how I push on the egg it doesn't go down yeah. right <coughs> yeah. so why is that because there's some air inside okay <gasps> so there's some air inside trying to push up so that the air pressure in and out right now is the same so as you can see right here oh so God. how are we going to make this egg get through mm. all the way down there is to change the pressure so what are we gonna do what do you think, Bella? What do you think we have this candle right here? We can actually use a candle or simply just use a piece of paper. Let me grab a piece of paper right here. Um, wait, okay. why do we need a piece of paper? We need the piece of paper so we can actually light up. We're gonna heat up the air molecules inside. So it is very important to, to take a look at what's going to happen to this egg as soon as the fire goes out. This one, when we put this in, we can actually see that this egg wiggles. Okay? <gasps> what? Let's see that is one. That yes, true? it is true. Ooh. So let's take a look at that. So right now, mommy Ooh, will... Fire! It's very important to be very careful. Be very careful one. or else... All right, so we are going to light up. Oh, I'm scared. Don't be scared, dear. <laughs> It is important when you do this, you have your parents to watch you out. <gasps> oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Come on, down, 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 down. Oh, it's going down, it's going down. Come on. Too loud. <laughs> that was too loud. Okay, 
So that we did. Um, I think <laughs> that was that was a fun one, but we didn't expect that big boom. I think boom. it was too tight. <laughs> boom. Boom. But anyway, so that was it. We can't get this out because it's already broken. Um, so what happened in here is that when we heated the air inside, you can see that the the um, egg actually was wiggling. So the wiggling actually was telling us that the air was rushing out. We heated the air. So when we heated the air, the air was trying to escape, okay? So that uh, when, when they're escaping out, there's less pressure inside, such that the pressure from the outside is actually higher, so there's that push, okay? But it is important to note also that the um, pressure, what we can probably see here that's just pushing down, but one thing we have to remember is that air pressure is actually pressing on us in all directions, not just going down like this, okay? So, you okay, Bella? Mommy Shelly, Mommy Shelly. That was scary, but it, the explosion was fun. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. Science is fun. We just have to do it right. You can see here, we broke the egg. Uh, we didn't expect that big boom earlier. Uh, but anyway, um, it would be hard for us to get it out now since it's already broken. Um, but if it wasn't broken, if it was a hole, we can still get it out by, by changing the pressure also inside. So how do we do it? If you have a straw, you can blow into it, um, into the straw inside, increasing pressure, and you can actually see that the egg will just pop back out, just like when it was going in, okay? Ooh, we just sacrificed that egg, poor egg. Um, okay. So since we can get this out, we're gonna use the other one. Oh! It's the same idea, but this one is now a balloon, okay? But with water. So water with water in oh, it. No. It's gonna act it's like gonna an egg in here. It's gonna splash in my face. No, you can move away if you are scared. I'm you can move scared. away. I'm okay. Scared. <laughs> you can watch mommy. <laughs> okay, so we do the same thing, just like what we did with the egg. Um, we just simply. But it might pop. I'm just thinking. About it. And so let's start. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Can you hold the balloon, Bella? And then you can give the balloon to me whenever. No, I'm so right now, again, the balloon, as you can see, it is apparently it does not go but down, I'm right? It's too so big scared. for it to go down. But we'll see if we can actually make it go down by changing the pressure inside, um, by heating up the air molecules inside. I'm so scared. Don't be scared, Bella. <laughs> you said it was scary, but it was fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be my assistant. Hold the egg. Oh Bella doesn't want to get near well, me. Well, you mean a balloon. <laughs> she got scared earlier with the explosion. We did not expect, but that was fun, she said. Okay, so that's why it is very important when you do this. Um, parent supervision is a must. So let's heat it up. And when I say, give me the balloon, Bella, you give me the balloon, okay? Okay. And here we go. This is going to be satisfying but scary at the same time. Oh my goodness. Give me the balloon. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Ah, oh, did you see that? We got the air balloon inside. <laughs> Scared she she ran away. <laughs> Come here over here. No, 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 no. Come here. No, it's not going to. See that? So now we can't get that out. So what we would need to do is. But how is, are we gonna pop it? Oh no, we don't have to pop it. We have to get it out. See, we've okay. got our balloon inside. We victimized not anymore the egg, but this time the balloon. Hi, All right. Now our problem is how to get it out. <gasps> so we know already, right? So early on, we got it inside because we changed the pressure. There was a pressure difference. When we heated the balloon, in, uh, the air inside, uh, the air was rushing out, right? It was gaining um, kinetic energy, so it was rushing out. And so what's going on is that there's that less pressure inside, so that's why the air outside was pushing the, bal the balloon inside. So now it's the same idea. We can't get it out, right? So if we try to, um, oops, if we try to uh, put the balloon in like this, well, we can't get it out, Good. right? So how are we going to do it? We're gonna do the same thing. <gasps> what? We're gonna do the same thing. 
we need to do some pressure difference. So huh? right now, right now, it won't come out because there's pressure pushing the balloon inside. There's also air. We just don't see the air, right? Because it's colorless. But air is a matter, so it actually occupies space. So there's some air inside. So what we're gonna do is, if somehow we can, we can um, blow in air inside we can increase the pressure inside so by increasing the pressure inside we create that pressure difference so pressure higher pressure inside and, and low pressure um, um, outside would push the air uh, would push the balloon out of this bottle so should we do that so I have here a straw I can put the straw in here and what I can do basically is just simply blow into it okay let me see. So I'm gonna blow air on it and observe what will happen to our balloon. Whoa. <laughs> ah, we got it out. Wow, that was cool. Uh. big success for us so you had a great time watching us and we cannot wait for you to do this at home with your parents though it has to be with your parents uh, guidance okay so if you like this video <laughs> make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share and we'll see you all next time bye, bye. the balloon says bye to you too